officially in lockdown. It is 11 o'clock, or almost 11 o'clock, on the first morning of lockdown. Um, I've spent the morning editing yesterday's video, um, and I'm going to go and watch a game show, because that's my favourite, <laughs> just my favourite part of lockdown so far, is that I get to watch game shows. I am... I just love game shows. I love general knowledge. I love testing general knowledge. So my all-time favorite game show is The Chase, which means I get to watch that every day at five o'clock. Um, but the guy who hosts that, Bradley Walsh, has created another game called Cash Trapped. And that's on 11 o'clock. So now that I'm not at work, I can live my best day TV life. <laughs> Conference time. Um, we're going to take a punt on the numbers each day to see if we can guess how many new cases we have. What's your guess? 65. Mum says 65. I'm going to say 69. <laughs> there are 78 new cases. I just got out of the shower and I've had a thought. I wonder if right now is the cleanest the human race has ever been. Like everyone's washing their hands way more and sanitizing way more and now we're all trapped at home so we're probably showering way more as well. Like I wonder if right now we're the cleanest we've ever been. So this is yesterday's butterfly, we've just put him outside so he can fly away. Um, I'll try and freeze frame him so that you can see that he's a boy um, and I'll try and show you where the little dots are. Um, pretty much it's at like the bottom of their wings. Um, like right in the middle so when they open their wings right at the bottom you'll see this like little dot and that means that he's a boy because the girls don't have those i just saw a video of a lady making afghans and i really wanted to make afghans <laughs> but we have no cornflakes so i was like that's fine i'll make it with wheat bags and then i looked at our butter and we only have like a block of butter um and i don't want to be those people who have to go out and buy things that they don't need to so i'm not making afghans today i'll have to ration my baking <laughs> um so instead i'm gonna vacuum the house Fun. Isolation fun. <laughs> I also thought it was worth noting that we have to vacuum this house a lot because of my cat. <laughs> she has this terrible habit of pulling out her own fur. Um, she doesn't like it, she's very floofy, she doesn't want to be that floofy. So she pulls out fur and leaves big chunks of it around the house. I'll show you. It's your fault, isn't it? You pull out your floof. Like that, that there, big chunk of floof from Snooky. <laughs> isolation outfit of the day um, comes to you from the tree <laughs> uh, you guys are currently like tripod clung up on one of the trees in the front yard so here's what I'm wearing today in isolation <laughs> I've only been standing outside the ha uh, like front of the house for about, I don't know, two or three minutes and I've already seen like four cars go past. You can't tell me that those four people had like essential things that they need to be doing today. So, um, I feel like people just aren't really taking this seriously. Are they sweet princes? I don't think they are. I love how she puts her like paw on my face like that when I pick her up. Oh, it's a pooey. You're an actual lion. <laughs> Don't fall out of the tree. You can have the stick. When I was at the supermarket the other day, I brought the new flavours of shapes. So, meat pie flavour. <laughs> Which now that I'm thinking of, just, it sounds horrid. Um, and also sausage sizzle which I have a lot more hope for because I think it's going to taste like caramelised onions. That's what I'm hoping for. So let's try um, meat pie first. Um, someone, <laughs> someone's here to also try meat pie. Do you like them? Do they taste good? <laughs> Okay, 
they kind of smell like tomato sauce and stale white bread and I feel like I'm familiar with these smells from my um, history working in radio that is literally exactly what it smells like a chili bin that had like off like bread in it for a long time not really making me want to try it They taste horrible. They kind of taste like salmon, like tinned salmon, which really isn't a good good taste for a shape. So it's a hard pass on the meat pie. I'm hoping you can hear this. Stump taste. I can't even tell you what they smell like. They don't smell like onion, which doesn't leave me hopeful. They kind of taste like onion, but it's about it. Like nothing, and not even a nice onion. Mmm, okay. These are the better ones. But I still wouldn't recommend getting either of them. Buy the Vegemite ones, they're the best. It's five o'clock, which means it's time for the chase! It is 6 30. Um, I have done literally like not even 4,000 steps today. So I'm gonna go for a walk um, and I'm just gonna walk until I get to 10,000 and then I'll walk home. So when I'm going for my walks, I'm looking for the teddy bears that um, people have put in their windows. It's not in a window, but I'm pretty sure that's a giraffe in a tree. That's good enough for me. So before I left for my walk, we decided that we would put a teddy bear in our window so that we can bring some joy as well. Uh, and I just got home and I see that mum has put the teddy bear in the window. So I'll flip you around and show you. There it is. It's in a little cane chair. It's kind of adorable. Update, I just walked slightly further down the, down the drive and I've seen that she's put another teddy bear in the window. So I'll show you that one. Can you see it? I think it's like an elephant. Oh no, it's a koala. Oh, koala! Just finished my walk. Uh, I didn't quite get to 10,000 steps. I was trying to um, kind of guesstimate how I, how many I would need to do and where I'd need to go to get back home around that 10,000 mark. So I've done eight and a half. You know what? I'm not going to make things harder on myself than we need to be. The whole country's in lockdown. It doesn't matter if I don't do 10,000 steps. So. I'm happy with that today. A um, couple of things I noticed from day one's walk. Um, people are being so much friendlier. I only saw like probably three or four people, but they all waved at me or smiled or just acknowledged you in some way, which I feel like, you know, Kiwis are pretty good, but we don't always do that. Um, I saw three police cars while I was out. Um, so that really does show you that they're taking this seriously, which I am so thankful to see. Um, and then to end on a beautiful light note, tell you who's really loving lockdown, the fucking cyclists. <laughs> no, cyclists are good, but they are riding around town like four across, living their best lives. So I bet the cyclists are so excited for the next four weeks. <laughs> I am feeling very tired, so I'm hoping that I'll actually get to like have a bit of a sleep in tomorrow because there's got to be perks to lockdown <laughs> and sleeping in has to be one of them. So feeling very tired, but it's okay. Are you tired? How was day one of lockdown? She's like, get the fuck away from me. <laughs>